Cutie Nights, this is Tycoon to Toronto. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster Recreations. That's right, this is Planet Coaster Recreations. As you can tell, there is no recreations in this park because I've just started a new save game, a new save park area. I've just realized that this is still open. Uh, no, 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 you're going away now. Bye. That basically controls all the fans and stuff on my computer. But anyway, yes, uh, this is an empty park because I've started a brand new park um, because the other one was getting a little bit slow on performance-wise and the videos weren't coming out as good. So I thought it'd be a great idea to just start up a new park. And now we're in the tropical theme. I love the tropical theme. It just has really, really good colors. Um, I don't know if that, I think I like the Alpine one better. Uh, but anyway, on the last episode, we went ahead and created... Uh, Stormrunner. I'm um, like, what was it called? <laughs> Stormrunner from Hershey's Park, um, which is an awesome recreation. I did the episode a little bit differently last time. I did a time lapse with me talking over the top of the time lapse. I am going to do. I, I did get some feedback from that, and people did not necessarily like it as much as what I would usually do. However, uh, like I've said, the video that video was uh, that took about like it was an hour's worth of content and me building uh, smashed into what was it like five or six minutes. So what I'm going to do in the episode, I'm going to do another time lapse for this episode. So another time lapse of me bu building. But right now, up in the top right hand corner, up there, some up here somewhere near where the settings button is, you'll see a little button, a little thing that'll flick out and say, do you want me to do time lapses or do you not want me to do time lapses? You just vote on those two options and then I will take that, going forward, I will take that feedback into account when I'm doing my recreations. But anyway, what are we going to be recreating today? Uh, after the comments in the last episode, it looks like we are going to be creating Cheetah Hunt, a new breed of speed. Uh, I don't know, I didn't know that it had that subtitle. Or sub subtitle? Yeah. Until uh, I just read it. Uh, from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. We are going to be recreating Cheetah Hunt. Yes, that's right. I've said it already. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get right into it. Uh, it lo As always, if you want me to go ahead and recreate a, a, a roller coaster from uh, in the next episode. Yeah, words. Uh, if you want me to recreate a roller coaster in the next episode, put it down in the comment section. Thumb up any other comments that you do like you might as well hit the thumb up button on the video as well because that helps me out ever so much uh but anyway i'm gonna get straight into it and time lapse activate okay so we're in time lapse mode now thank you previous tycoon but anyway so uh, remember if you guys like the time lapses then you gotta vote you gotta vote and let me know let me know but anyway um right now we're just you know starting off building the thing i realized that i built it way too high up and well and not not high enough it seems like it goes down into a uh, in, into into a trench here, and then I started building up. I, th I only thought it did a half loop, and then I'm looking at the map because I, this is another roller coaster where I can use the Google Maps 3D map thing, which is great because I can work out how tall stuff is in relation to everything. Uh, right now, also the coaster is still white. Uh, I, I ended up going changing it later on to green um, at the at the end of the video, I think. Um, but then I I have a feeling I made these circles at the top too small. They're too tight! They're too tight! They're so tight! They're as tight as a toyga! Tight as a cheetah! Nah, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I've just worked out that it has to go underneath this thing, so I have to move the whole thing up. I ended up going back later on and moving the actual whole launch pad. Launch pad? Launch pad McQuack? Uh, no, just launch pad. I moved the whole launch pad down because the, the, the launch, the first hill, there, yeah, I'm gonna say launch. The first launch hill, I suppose it is, uh, was too low, so I ended up moving the whole platform down. But now we're going through and doing just the whole wibbly, windy, curvy, worthy bits. Um, I always seem to have trouble building these things, but... Oh, that's right. Are you using the preset? Oh, I went to go use the preset um, barrel roll section. I'm like, yeah, that'll work, but you can never quite... I can never seem to quite make them correct. So we start using the in the, the preset barrel roll piece, and then I'm just like, nah, 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 is there a different one on here that'll do better? I did a lot of fiddling around trying to use the preset pieces, but I ended up, I just went ahead and built one myself. I don't know how well I did. Also, I don't really know in relation to how big this section is, and whether it's a barrel roll or an inline twist, or a heartline twist. Um, it's kind of like a barrel roll, now I think about it, but that's what we built. We're already like halfway through the coast. This is the first block break section here. Um, it doesn't necessarily slow the cars down. Like when I very first built this at the start, it slowed the cars down too much. And now we're going through the, this is like the tight, turny, twisty, 
bit that I can never seem to be able to do um, these type of corners where they sort of change like camber over and over again. They're, they're really windy corners. They never feel right to me. So this, yeah, I, I, I'm, I've decided that it's not going to have enough speed going through here, so we move it up a little bit. But it still doesn't have enough speed. I end up turning the block brakes, um, the brake force down, so it rolls through here faster, with with hope that it will actually make it better. But anyway, so we're already doing these twisty windy bits. Yeah, I can never seem to do these correctly. They never come out right. Um, so I th they're, they're, that's as good as I can. I think I go back later and like edit them and make them a little bit better. Um, so now I'm trying to get the angle correct for this thing, and then I work out that it's like um, I don't know how high this hill is. I, I've got no relation to how high this hill is. I go back again and I, I make it I make it taller. I don't know if that's on the on the actual time lapse or not though. That's the thing. Um, so right now I'm just looking at the map and trying to work out where the coaster goes according to the map or the Google map from the top down. I've done this bit a little bit wrong. This uh, so the you won't be able to tell what I'm talking about. Basically, one of the corners does isn't far enough over, so I try to get it as close as possible. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Those people, because I mean, this is such a popular popular coaster, and it seems like to have a very very good following. It's a coaster that I definitely want to go on if we ever, if uh, Casper and I ever make it to um, Floridia. Uh, I, I definitely want to go to uh, is it Tampa. Is this Bush Gardens at Tampa? I want to go there and be actually go on this coaster because this coaster looks like a lot of fun. Uh, I've already recolored it all. Now we're into the scenery time lapse. I've actually done a scenery time lapse of this one uh, of us building all the little pieces. So I wanted to go ahead and try to make like I mean I didn't spend super long amounts of time building the scenery. Um, you, you, I tried to do it as close as possible, like, because this thing, this structure, structure uh, that they have here to hold up this section, I mean, the beams are usually thicker, but this structure is actually kind of crazy for a, for a support for a roller coaster. This, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, this support structure. It kind of looks like, after building it, I'm like, is it supposed to, like, I mean, it looks like bamboo when I'm building it, but does, is it supposed to look like, resemble a tree or something? Because it kind of, I mean, apart from it being yellow, I mean, some trees are yellow. It kind of, just to me, it seems like it should be a tree, but then I don't really know what it should be. But then, like, when I was building it, I'm, I'm just seeing bamboo everywhere, mainly because of the, the pipes, all the pipes coming out everywhere. Just, they look, they started looking like a bamboo to me, and I was getting bamboo mad, and I'm like, is this, is this roller coaster about a panda? And then I'm like, okay, we could put a flag here. And I'm like, no, that's not going to work. I had to put the flag the other way around. Even though the flag on the coaster actually goes from the taller bit, it's thicker, and then it goes pointy to the smaller bit. But I had to do it the other way around because that's the only flag that I could get. And I didn't want to spend four days or four years making a flag <laughs> out of primitives or something. So I basically do the basic layout of this. Um, it's not 100% accurate, like I said. It's it's roughly accurate, I suppose. It kind of looks like that, but not really. Um, the pipes are, or the beams are actually a lot thicker than what these ones are. And they don't generally have the big lumpy section on them. But yeah, this actually took, like, I mean, even though I wasn't doing it super accurately, it took a long time to do that. <laughs> so now I've just realized that we didn't put the, um, the railings on the first launch and now I'm just moving this down we're gonna build a trench we're gonna build because this goes through a little like trench section uh, and it, do it does that a lot the coaster does that a lot of time like throughout the whole riding of the coaster it goes through a whole bunch of like little trenches and little tunnels and little magical places that you can go find fairies no you can't find fairies in them. you can break maybe a roller coaster fairy is that like a different version of the tooth fairy it's like a roller coaster one where it's like, oh yes, you've lost your teeth, little Jimmy. Now it's time to ride the coaster. I want one of those fairies. Those fairies are the best. I've just invented a new fairy. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we're, we're building up the basic walls and everything like that. And then it's got these like red beams that go across this section. So I try to sort of mimic the sort of big red industrial beam looking thing. And then the actual trench itself is made up of a whole bunch of... Uh, I suppose they're like cement pylon things that they drive into the ground to hold the walls up. It's like a retaining wall, except it's cement. So I just put a cement wall there and put these beams on the side to kind of imitate the same sort of thing. There's a lot more of them in the other one, I suppose. In the real one. 
the other one and the real one. Now I'm trying to find a little capping piece to put on the top of the wall because there is a little capping piece there. The only thing that I could find that's similar to what I wanted was the wooden the wooden plank thing from the buildings. But that's not quite it's not quite right. It's it's not like that's not what it is. It's it's a big piece of cement and then there's a path on one side with a big fence that so people can't jump down into the corridor and get hit by a coaster. But then there is another one here. I just go ahead and um oh now I'm on, okay, I'm on the water bit now. So with this bit I worked out I'm pretty sure it is full of water. However, every single video that I found of it, the water was drained out of the hole. So I'm, I'm just assuming there's supposed to be water in there. So I just literally copied the other trench and put the other trench here. Now we edit it because this one's got a bridge that goes over it with a footpath. So I go ahead and I make the basic like footpath layout out of planks. But I don't actually put a footpath across there. So I mean, if you download, if you guys go ahead and download the um, the file and you put it in your own park, I suppose you can put your uh, you can put a path over there if you want. That's if you even download this. I mean, I have a few people that download my things, but not that many. I mean, they're all up on my, um, they're all up on my Steam Workshop page. So if anyone ever wants a coaster and they don't have it recreated, then just go to my Steam Workshop page and go get the things, do the stuff, do the awesome. So now there's all just yeah, I'm placing because this this part of the coaster goes through like a rock gorge thing. So I'm just like randomly. I'm not spending a lot of time. I'm just doing basic scenery. I'm not. I'm not spending a lot of time doing like super accurate, hyper accurate scenery. I just wanted to put some stuff around there so it kind of looks similar as we're going through. And you guys can let me know how well I did compared to how it actually is. I don't even know if there's any palm trees around there. It just kind of looked like there's palm trees. So I'm just like, yeah, palm trees are awesome. Let's put palm trees everywhere. Um, it ends up I accidentally, later on, I accidentally uh, lower the water level or I, I break the blue dam that we've got there and fill up that other section with water. Uh, it ends up coming out better. So um, now this is, I'm pretty sure we're uh, almost at the end. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Remember, if you do want to see more time lapses or you don't want to see more time lapses, you just simply have to vote up in the top right hand corner. Click that little I button and then vote on what you want. Uh, to do, so then I'll choose the majority's version. But uh, I hope I did a very good job voicing over the time lapse because I haven't done that yet, so I don't know what it's going to be like. So I suppose you'll know what it's going to be like. So if I did a good job, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but let's go ahead and ride this puppy. Let's ride this puppy. I don't know why. I don't know why I say that now I think about it. Let's ride this puppy. It's not a puppy, it's a roller coaster. Coaster, can you please go back to the start? What are you doing? There you go. Okay, right. Let's ride this puppy. No, no, no. From this point of view. Quick, hit the button. Hit the button, Jeff. Jeff. Gelatinous Blob Man, do you like Cheetah Hunt? Oh, oh boy. We're already around the first corner. I can't believe it. I'm going to turn the menu off. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, we made it up good. I was worried we weren't going to make it up the top. Here we go. Oh, oh boy. It's building tension before the drop. Here we go. Oh no, down into the pit! Oh, pulling the G's! Well, we probably wouldn't pull G's there, but... Oh, oh, is it... Is it even gonna make it? Surely it makes it. Whoa, why is there a pile on that? Okay, never mind. Oh, doing the barrel roll! Is that a barrel roll or an inline twist? I don't know on this on this ride. Through this bit. Now, down here, I had a, I had a hard time. I think there's supposed to be water in here, but every single one that I had, every single video that I was looking at, the water didn't exist. Whoa, underneath the big rock area thing. Also, is there is there like wild animals supposed to be around the outside of this coaster? Here we go. Whoa, air time. Oh yes. Down into the corners and then up and then it twists around this. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> I love these like low lying coasters. They're so cool. And then back up into the block break section through the wheel of magics and then back into the station but unfortunately i am all out of time for this video so if you have went ahead and liked this video uh, then please do remember to smash that thumbs up button um if you want a, a coaster recreated on the next episode of uh recreation then please by all means put it down in the comment section and thumb up any other uh comments that you want recreated on the next episode because that's how i choose that's how i choose that's how i chose this one that's how i choose all of them but anyway uh, yeah, like I said, if you have liked this video, then please do leave a like. If your feelings are more complicated than the thumbs up or a thumbs down, then please leave it in the comment section. If you want to see more stuff like this in the future and, you know, and subscribe, then please do go ahead and subscribe. 
but this has been Tycoonatron, and have a good day! Oh wait, I also should have mentioned that, that you know, you can download this coaster in the comment section, and also there's a link to the cinematic, but that, that's alright, you, you guys might know that, it's fine. Yeah.